My dear viewer, welcome again to our series on 40 Days of Prayer. Today is day 33 and we thank you so much for being part of this service, this ministry and waiting upon these programs every day. I want to invite and welcome you warmly on this particular day and allow you to be at peace with the Lord as you seek Him in prayer. Today being day that we also recognize that we are coinciding with when the general conference session is starting and we want to thank God for the many delegates who have traveled from various parts of the world and they are now together and also we pray as they see together to come up the list of the church leadership we want to pray the Lord maybe in the meetings and give us the leaders. Now to guide us, this is a text that we'll be sharing from the book of Hebrew chapter 4. But before that, this morning, we are, I'm glad to be joined with a good team uh, of uh, people who are going to give us a piece of music. And I want to, you to be blessed by their ministry as we sing together and pray together in this service. My Lord has come and so wondrous fine, and mother texture fills. Its fragrance reached to this heart of mine, with joy my being thrills. Out of the ivory palace to a world of war, only His grace, eternal love, made my Savior go. His life has walked so its sorrow so, for Allah's other part. And when I think of the cross he bore, my eyes with teardrops start. Out of the ivory palaces, into a world of Dipped with healing in a touch. In times of sin, as my feet has slipped, he saved me from his clutch. Out of the ivory palace.
Amen. Amen. What a beautiful, inspiring piece of music. We read the text of um, Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 15 and 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 15 and 16. For we have not an high priest who, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. This text from Paul, in the book of Hebrews, speaks to our context this morning, or if you're watching us in the afternoon or evening, you see, Paul is reminding us that in this life we shall have needs, we shall have struggles, we shall have tribulations, we shall feel low, we shall feel besieged and perplexed. But yet he is encouraging us that we have one on our side who is able to come into our situations and sympathize with our situations. You see, the high priest here is Jesus Christ. And, and especially when Paul says here, which cannot be touched, that Greek phrase there, cannot be touched, has a meaning of who cannot, or who is able to suffer with us, to mean that he, he is able to experience and to share, rather, in our experiences. You see, we just came to prayer, and we are praying concerning many challenges that we are having individually, Completely as a church, and we are seeking the Lord. And you see, even as I speak to you this moment, I know there are struggles unique to your situation. There are struggles within your family. There are struggles at your workplace. There are struggles about a spiritual work. And all these things at times make us overwhelmed. We don't know how to deal with Him. We don't know what to do. But the privilege of our prayer is such one that it presents and avails to us where we can come and live lay our burdens. And this moment, the text of the book of Hebrews reminds us that even as we seek the Lord in prayer, even as we bear the burdens of our life, we are not alone. We have one on our side that we can always lay our burdens to him. And this one, then Paul reminds us that he is able to sympathize. He is able to get into a situation, to suffer the way we suffer, to suffer in our suffering, to, be, to, to, to get pain in our pain. You know, and this is very unique because we appreciate that the one that is on our side, the one who intercedes for us, the one that we are seeking for is a, such a one that is able to put himself in our situation. This moment, whatever struggle you're going through, whatever challenge is your way, whatever affliction is facing you, whatever tribulations you're going through, I want to assure you that we have such a high priest, Jesus Christ, who is able to exactly come into your situation and feel as you feel and experience as you experience. But you see, the good thing is now when he comes in the situations of our lives, he does not just come to experience with us and remain in our situation, but he comes to experience, but also to remove us from the situation. You see, ourselves, we experience the tribulations. We experience pain. We experience grief. We experience all manner of you know, challenges in our lives. But most of the times, we are not able to move ourselves from that situation. But the one that we are talking about, who is able to come in, into our situation. He is also able to carry us out of the situation. So he comes in into a, into a situation that he can remove us from the situation. But as when we find ourselves in the situation, we are forced to remain in the situation. And so we can die in that situation. But the one I'm talking about, he comes when he finds ourselves in that situation that he may come and just, not just experience the situation with us, but also remove us from the, from the situation. Very good examples. Daniel and his friends are, are, are thrown into a lake of fire. And he quickly came into the situation. He came to experience, you know, to share in the experience. But not just to share in the experience, but to remove them from that experience. Because the experience is not a good one. And so Jesus passes, for we do not have an, a high priest who is, who is not able to, you know, who is not able to, to be touched, to, to, to suffer with us, and, and, and to experience our tribulations. 
but one who in all points, in all areas of his life, was tempted as we are. And so yet he, he, he knows when we are paid. He knows when we, we enjoy. He knows when we are desperate. He knows how to feel it. He felt desperate. And one day he cried to his father, 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 my father, why are you forsaking me? He has shared that aspect of being forsaken in life. And this morning or this afternoon or this evening, wherever you are, you could be feeling forsaken. Jesus was there. And he came through and says, be of good cheer because in this world, I have shared the same experiences, but I have overcome. And so when he comes, in our situation. He doesn't come just to stay with us, to comfort us, but he comes to remove us from the situation. Now, what is the situation this moment? What is the situation this morning? What is the experience like? Are you feeling caged? Are you feeling in a place you can't help yourself? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Maybe it's the issues in your marriage or your health issues or in your career issues. What is it? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Your spiritual journey, you're backsliding every time. You're trying your best to be this Christian who walks genuinely with the Lord. But you see, as you try it, you find yourself stumbling and falling again back that scene. Don't struggle on. We have one who is able to sympathize, but not just to sympathize, but to come and remove us from the situations. And so this moment as we pray, we are praying and inviting him who is able to come into our situations to remove us from our situation. And we need to do this in the context of especially verse number 16, which says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. You see, we need to come in confidence that it doesn't matter the ugly situation. It doesn't matter how it looks like. If we, we, we fix our eyes on Jesus, we fix our eyes on him, who is able to sympathize and also to remove us from the situation, we will find grace. We will find mercy. We will have confidence. And I want to invite you as we pray this moment that forget about what you're going through, but look at him who is able to come right now in a situation and remove you, that you can have peace in your mind, you can have peace in your life, and you can obtain mercy from the Lord. As I will, uh, you know, as I invite my brother uh, Felix to come and join with me in this prayer, and I want to invite you also, wherever you are, um, that you may be part of this, brother uh, Felix and, and, and brother Paul, just come and join me in this prayer this, this moment. We are going to pray, and, and, and we are praying that the Lord may come into the situations of our lives, in, in the situation, obviously we are praying for you, that God may come in the situation of your life. You see, now wherever you are, we don't know what you're going through. But I'm sure there's something you're struggling with. And we are here praying for you without knowing what you're going through. But I want you to embrace faith. Say, Jesus, as these men are praying, they are praying for me. Please, God, hear this prayer. I want you to put your faith in this prayer as you seek the Lord because we have a high priest who is able to sympathize, not just to sympathize with us, but actually to remove us from those ugly situations of our lives. I know we are, you know, we are praying for the general conference session that is taking place from today. And we know, many of us ask, you know, what kind of leadership are we, we, are we going to get? Who will become the next president? Who will become the next executive secretary? Let me tell you, we don't have to get worried. We have one who controls the affairs of the church. Let's seek him this morning and tell him, Jesus, you know what? This is your church. Give us the, the, the right leaders, and then we wait in faith. He shall do it. He has done it in the time past. He shall do it even today for your life and for the life of the church. Let's have faith and confidence in him who was tried and tempted in the very manner, and he qualifies to share in our afflictions, not just to share and comfort us, but also to remove us from this situation. In faith, we seek him. Wherever you are, take your time. Pray together with us. Brother Felix and Paul, thank you for joining us. This moment we need to pray and intercede. There are a number of challenges people are going through. The church is requesting us to pray. Brethren are seeding, using the power of the Holy Spirit, that they may come up with a list of the leadership of the church. And it takes our prayer to have the Spirit of God in the meetings. And so even as we pray for ourselves and we pray for our viewers, we also pray for the general conference session that is taking place right from today. And we pray for the few days that shall be there up to 11th. The presence of God may be manifest in that meeting. We start with Brother Paul. And then we come to Brother uh, Felix. And then I'll end the prayer from here. My brethren, my dear viewers, wherever you are, join us in this prayer. Lord, we want to thank you because indeed you are a faithful God. You choose your leaders. You choose your children. And Lord, even as the meetings take place, 
Lord, may peace prevail. Amen. May you fill the hearts and the minds with wisdom. Lord, and may each and every person earnestly seek to be led of you. Yes, Lord. May the Spirit hover over the meeting, over the session, guide each and every session. That, Lord, out of it all, your name will be glory. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all the people who are praying all over, world over, churches world over, praying for this special moment. Mm. That, Lord, indeed, may our desires be put to thee. Amen. That, Lord, at the end of the day, you may show us where we need to go. Amen. Give us who you see fit mm. to lead your church. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all those that are present here. Lord, bless them indeed, together with their families and friends. And Lord, speak to us in a very, very special way. Lord, your children are needy right now. We want you to meet them at their points of need. They need you in a very special way. Lord, please, please, open ways. You know, you, you work in ways that we cannot understand. We do not know. And Lord, just like Jacob, who wrestled, and did not want to let go until you blessed him. Lord, we too, whatever situation we are wrestling in, Lord, right now, mm. whatever situation it is, Lord, we will not let you go yes, Lord. until you bless him. Oh, yes, Lord. Until we see your hand, yes, Lord. we will not let you go. Yes, Lord. Please, give us your grace, give us your mercy. Mm. But Lord, we request not that you lift us out of these problems, but that through these problems, through these challenges, through these difficulties, may you guide us through. Amen. May you lead us in the storm. That, Lord, at the end of the day, our character may be molded to be more and more like yours. Mm. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer this morning and for blessing us indeed. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our eternal Father, our Maker, our King, our Savior, the one who is not bound by time, the one who sees Eternity from eternity. Yes, Lord. The one who commands all the universes and all the way that they, and the way there moves. The way who knows when a swallow dies. The one who knows the count of, of every hair in our body. Mm. The one who has lent us the air that we breathe today. Mm. We come to you tonight, dear God, and we worship you. We praise your holy name, for you alone are God. Mm. We pray that you forgive us our sins, O oh Lord, for they are many. Mm. And while we, we, leave, we still live on this uh, wretched and sinful world, mm. Lord, we do have struggles among us and among brethren. I pray, O oh Lord, right now, even as we have heard thy word uh, through Pastor, for the one who is struggling, O oh Lord, and just waiting for your miracle, mm. may, it, may that be even at this hour. Yes, Lord. That they may receive their portion. Yes, Lord. And that they may glorify your name for you alone, our God, mm. who does good things to, their, to, to his people. Yes, Lord. His children. Yes, amen. And so I plead, O oh Lord, for your mercy. I plead for your special touch mm. upon your children. Yes, Lord. Amen. See now, dear God, there are also many who are grief stricken. Mm. And who else could we run to but you? Oh, yes. For you alone knows how to comfort oh, yes, Lord. your children. Holy Spirit, you are the comforter. Oh yes. May you comfort them in a special way. Amen. I also thank you, Lord. Send us the rain. Mm -hmm. Send us the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. And we thank you for the general conference meeting. As it sets sail. Dear Jesus, let the Holy Spirit move every soul in that place. Yes, Lord. That all they will do, O oh Lord, is do as you have commanded, mm. as you have said, yes, Lord. as you have whispered in their ears, O oh Lord, through the still more small voice of the Holy Spirit mm. that tells us to do your will. Yes, Lord. And that at the end of the day, Lord, we will have leaders that you alone has anointed mm. and has picked, O oh Lord, for the next season, that thy church, O oh Lord, will proclaim the three angels' messages, O oh Lord, and we, we will tell the truth in love, mm -hmm. 
for you are God of love. May you save your children, O Lord. May you save us for your courts above. Mm. May you remind us, O Lord, of your return that is soon. I thank you for every family in this church, O Lord. Yes, Lord. For Satan is out to tear apart the family. Mm. Pray that if there, there are families that are, that are torn apart, may you restore them. Mm. For you ordain the family, O Lord. Family is a unit that is dear to you, dear God. Mm. Do not let us die away. May you bring us back, O oh Lord, into your fold for those that are, have been out there. Yes, Restore them, Lord. Restore their spiritual lives that they may join in uh, thy service again. Revive us again, dear Jesus. Mm. Revive, your, revive your church and bless us. May you strengthen us. May you strengthen our leaders, O oh Lord, as they toil in the vineyard, O oh Lord. They meet so many challenges, but when they, they lean on you, you revive them, you, you strengthen them, you help them to carry on. May you bless our pastors, our elders, our deacons, our deaconesses, and all the church officers, O oh Lord, that you have appointed, even at such a time as this. The, the days are wicked, Lord, but we trust in you, yes, Lord. for you alone will deliver us. Yes, Lord. Pray that you bless this meeting. May you bless us all, Lord, and keep us even unto that day when you shall return with glory and power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Lord, we continue to wait upon you this moment of prayer to thank you, to thank you, Lord, for many things you have done upon our lives. We thank you for the presence of your grace in our lives. And as we stop a little longer this moment to seek your face, Lord, it's in recognition that you have a promise that you will not turn us away when we come to you. So, Lord, we approach the throne of grace in confidence because we know we have one on our side, the high priest of our life, who was tried and tempted in the very manner we are today. Yet, he overcame every trial. So, he qualifies because he is able to sympathize with us. He is touched with our infirmities and he knows our pain. Not just knowing and sympathizing, but Lord, He creates a way for us. And this, our prayer, Lord, we are seeking that we may create a way for each one of us. Look at your children, Father, wherever they are, they are seeking you in various ways. Many are afflictions of the righteous, yet, Lord, we deliver them from all. And this moment, Lord, we believe in faith that through the mighty working of the Holy Spirit, you shall deliver us from all the afflictions and the challenges that we are faced with. I want to commit my dear figure before you, Lord, this morning. I don't know what they are going through. I don't know what the experience looks like. But you do understand my Father. And in faith, they have joined us in prayer. Lord, I'm seeking that you shall lift them from where they are. You shall lift them from their struggle. You shall take away the burden of their life and give them peace. You have promised, Lord, if we approach you in confidence, we shall obtain mercy and peace and grace. And Lord, this moment we are seeking for that mercy. Mm -hmm. May you be merciful upon your children, mm -hmm. Lord. We need you, your care. We need your love. We need to experience your touch. Lord, visit with your children in their situations, oh my Father, and give them your mercy. Give them peace. The evil one has troubled your children. Men are walking stressed depressed because of many care of this life. They have no one to turn to apart from you. And this is our prayer. We bring all our cares to you, oh my Father, in faith, because you understand this struggle. You understand this journey. You are here before us. Oh, you understand and appreciate every turn and twist of this life, my God. And so we are coming to you in faith, not just for us as a uh, people here, but for everyone, your children across the globe who are struggling and even some of them do not understand that you can intervene in the situations of their life. Yet, Lord, we are also praying for such that you shall reach out to them, not because they called upon you, but because you are a gracious Father. Visit with them, oh my God, and give them peace. Give them victory. Give them success. Give them patience, even to wait upon you as you, 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 you work it out for them that they may see the deliverance that comes from you. We want to thank you even for the ministry of Nairobi Central SDA Church. Lord, may you continue meeting us at our very point of needs. 
the pastors, the elders, the entire team of leadership, and our unique, special congregation. Lord, we pray for each one of them. These members who gave to our hands, my Father, you know their needs. You know their struggles. You know their pain. You know their joy. And this, our Lord, and lift the entire congregation before the throne of grace. You are a gracious Father. Oh, my God, may you meet this church at a very point of needs. May you supply to their daily needs because you promised that you will give us a bread. So, Lord, may you supply it to them. And may you heal those who are sick, we pray in Jesus' name. May you give them peace, we pray in Jesus' name. Our children who are in school, we pray for them. Lord, may you give them the best of performance in schools. Those of our members who are working and are struggling at their workplaces, oh my Father, I pray that you shall bring them through in the struggles and even make them sit in higher position of influence because they are your people. We want to thank you and remember especially the general conference that is seeding from this day the next few days, Lord, that you may guide them to put up a list of men and women that are going to minister and serve and lead the church. Such a huge responsibility is not possible with human power. It's not possible with the human influence. Lord, we are seeking diligently your face this moment that you may come through for the meetings that we are going on for the general conference and give to yourself, to the church, men and women, so filled with the Spirit, men and women who in this age still are willing to call sin by its name, men and, will, and women in this age who are willing to start by the Scripture and Scripture alone, men and women even in this age who cannot be compromised but will stand knowing that they are serving a true living God, a miracle performing God who they know that they have nothing to fear for the future unless they can forget who has been in their lives. And so, God, we are seeking your face concerning the general conference that you shall be in the meeting and lead every thought, every discussion, every proposal to a, according to your will. Lord, I pray that as we do that, Lord, we are waiting to receive a good report for the general conference leadership, the, the, all the divisions that we are having in the, in, the, in the world, that we will have received people that shall lead this church. We are praying that, Lord, even as you do that, even the unions, the conferences, the fields, the local churches, my Father, that we may experience a unique moving of the Holy Spirit beginning here with our church, not of a central church. We thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for what you have done. And we thank you for what you shall continue doing. We are not afraid that you are with us. And Lord, in any time we come to you in prayer, we are doing this in confidence because we know you began this good work and you shall bring it to completion, even to the glory of your name. Mm -hmm. Lord, continue blessing us. Continue giving us a reason to wait upon you. Revive our spirit. Revive our faith. Give us a higher experience of waiting upon you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, my dear viewer, for being with us and every time waiting upon these programs. I want to thank you so much. And once more time to request you, if you have not subscribed to our programs, just click that red button there that you may be part of these programs. Even way after we have completed the 40 days of prayer, we shall be coming up with new programs. Anytime we have a new program, you shall be not fine. But more importantly, share with your friends as much as you can. Just click that button of sharing. Share with anyone that you can imagine. You never know who needs this message, this one of hope at a time like now. Be part of this ministry by sharing with your friends. Remember tomorrow, we are coming again to wait upon the Lord. Till then, may God be with you.